What's going on people, welcome to 137 Works, and it's been a while since I did a behind the beat. So, what I thought I'd do is really quickly, it's not finished, it's nowhere near a finished song, but I've been really digging this track that I've been making, it's gonna be called Lucy. I'll, I'll, I'll get into why it's pretty crazy in a, in a minute and why it's called that. But yeah, basically it's just been a, bit, been a while, I think the last one was Sax, I'll probably leave a link to that in the description if you wanna check it out. Not as strange of a song as the name may imply, I don't think in any way. But yeah, so basically I just, I, every now and again, so what I do is I'll go on YouTube and I'll type in like s funk or soul, and I'll sort by like kind of recent or like just different kind of ways of sorting it. So I'm not getting the popular stuff. I'm just getting the mad weird random kind of like low view counts kind of videos that just you wouldn't expect to be there. And the most recent, this this song basically I have, another way that I basically get them is there's a subreddit called Vintage Obscura. Where the rules have, to, like is like the video has to have like less than 1200 views or 1000 views or something like that. Or like 10, maybe 10,000 views. But yeah, basically... That's that's the rules. You have to find a video with less than ten thousand views. Uh, well, a song, obviously, a, le a song with less than ten thousand views, and then you can post it there. And yeah, basically, it's for people like me that like to dig, dig up old samples to, to kind of make tracks out of. So I found this song called Lucy Slow Disco. Well, Lucy, it's a slow disco song uh, by a French guy called Sandwitty Pierre, and I'll play a little bit of what it sounds like just by itself. So this is the song. <laughs> So basically right off the bat, as soon as I heard that, I was like, yep, that's a song, that's something that I can work with. So basically after, you know, the kind of the usual tweaks, a bit of effects and whatever like that, we come up with this. Fairly straightforward, that's not very, not, like, not, not, not the most imaginative chop, I basically sped it up. Uh, combined with the bass, the bass goes hard, I think. <laughs> Right, so that's a that's a good start basically. Um then if we go back to the song we have a bit that goes So that start bit I just chucked in here at the end of every two bars. Right, so that's that. That's really really decent. Um so then we have where the song actually starts. So you get the gist, so Lucy, 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 my love, or whatever, so I've got this. Again, not a whole lot, it doesn't sound amazing, to all separated, but chuck it in together. Right, then there is a breakdown in the song, basically, if I can try and find it. So, that's, again, not a clue what the guy is saying, but it sounds like a cool melody, so what I've gotten out of that is this. So again, put it all together. So again, like there's effects obviously you took out a load of the low end and that kind of thing. It's panned left and right, or kind of in each ear basically. Then straight after that part in the song, we have where is it, the guitar solo? So, actually, I did the opposite with this part. I slowed it down, and it sounds really cool, kind of creepy, and I pitched it way up as well. I think I turned the knob just straight up on this. Where's the guitar? Uh, yeah, the pitch knob was just turned all the way up. It sounds like kind of a mandolin or something like that. It sounds really cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, so again, combining everything. Um, then that's basically it for the samples as far as I know, as far as I can tell. Um, so then we have the played part. So I have this little, what is it, like a harpsichord thing in RF, RF Nexus. Um, symbol on one preset. So again, let's combine everything that we have. Just kind of provides, just kind of provides a little drone almost effect. You can't really make out the details of it too well, uh, at least not in this mix. Not, I haven't obviously mixed it yet. It's not a finished song, so it could change. Uh, but yeah, it just kind of provides like a low background drone kind of effect that I like. Then we have a very kind of West Coast kind of sound, like a very, I don't know, reminds me of something. I'm almost certain that, I, that I've that i been inspired by this uh, from somewhere, like in a real song. Uh, but the Tumtac piano again, Nexus. Um, sorry. Yeah, so just kind of like very West Coast, kind of nod your head, bop your head kind of thing. Very simply a crash, and uh, and we get into the drums then. Basically the drums are from a Kanye West kit that I have. Kanye uh, Pax Producer kit, so it's something that I downloaded years ago. 2014? No, God, it's longer than that, definitely. Uh, but yeah, Producer kits, Kanye, Kanye West's Windy City. Um, and it's, yeah, a couple of drums from there, so. And the snare goes real hard. <laughs> the snare goes hard. Uh, but yeah, so basically... A little hat, which I think is just a random hat from somewhere else. I quite dig it. <laughs> it's really, really cool. When it's all laid out into a track and uh, it's got the kind of the final mix and stuff like that, pumping everything out even better, uh, it's going to be really cool. But I just thought it was too good to not kind of show off. I really liked what I did, particularly with that guitar, that kind of creepy mandolin kind of out tune. It's just, it was just, it turned out to be a really great sample, really, um, to work with. So that's about it. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a thumbs up. If you want to see another one of these on a different song, I've got loads of different projects that I'm working on. Please do let me know in the description. Uh, but that's about it. Yeah, if you enjoyed it, please do leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching and goodbye.